we've had to take unprecedented measures in an effort to stop the spread of the virus. About a week ago, as many of you know, I issued an emergency order requiring the closure of all non-essential businesses that was in effect until Tuesday, April 7th. I also directed the Department of Public Health to issue a stay-at-home advisory for all residents of the Commonwealth. And this weekend, the federal government announced an extension to the White House coronavirus social distancing guidelines that would be in effect until April 30th, as they anticipate the peak surge of the virus to come nationally sometime in the next two weeks. They stated that by extending the distancing guidelines through April, their hope is to mitigate the spread of the virus and reduce the amount of people across the country that could potentially contract the disease. Here in Massachusetts, we've taken some of the earliest and most aggressive steps in the country to slow the spread of this virus. And we must continue to be aggressive in our pursuits. So today, I'm announcing an extension of the timeline for all non-essential businesses to keep their physical workplaces and facilities closed to all workers, customers, and the public until May 4th. This new designation on essential services will take effect tomorrow, April 1st, at noon. This order also extends the 10-person limit on social gatherings until May 4th as well. With these extensions, we're issuing an updated list of businesses and organizations that provide essential services and workforces related to COVID-19 that will continue to operate during this time period. I'll get into more details on what this entails in just a minute. But I want everybody to know that we appreciate the huge impact on our economy and on our daily lives that these decisions have, and they have not been made lightly. But based on the facts on the ground, our Department of Public Health guidance to extend the stay-at-home advisory outlining self-isolation and social distancing protocols needs to remain in effect through May 4th as well. I know this is difficult to hear, but we need everyone to continue to go without being around many of your family and most of your friends for your own health and safety and for the health and safety of your family, your friends, and others. As most of you know, my weekly visits with my 91-year-old father are phone calls. And as I said previously, neither one of us are very good at that. And I miss him. <laughs> but that's just the way it is. And it's the way it should be. And it's the way all of us need to be as purposeful as we can be in dealing with the contagious nature of this virus. Yeah, you got plenty of money to fuck around, don't you? For state government workers, we're also issuing an extension of the guidance to the executive branch employees regarding working from home that we put in place previously, and that will also be extended until May 4th. Yeah. And as we get ready to face what we're predicting to be the surge here in Massachusetts, these actions will improve our ability to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 and the impact the surge has on our healthcare system. Now we know that for many businesses and individuals, the measures that have been put in place have come at a very high cost. This includes the many local and homegrown small businesses in Massachusetts that we are so proud of. For them and for many others, it has not been an easy time, and we respect that. And we know that today's news won't make it any easier. <laughs> but I know I speak for me and the Lieutenant Governor when I say that we've had many conversations with businesses across the Commonwealth that were deemed non-essential. And as concerning as that is to them with respect to the ongoing nature and potentially the future of their operations, they understand why we're doing it yeah, boy. and why it's an important step yeah. to ensure the health and safety of them and their employees and others here in the Commonwealth. Because if we can limit face-to-face, -face, person-to-person contact now, we can slow the spread 
and get back to work as soon and as safely as we possibly can. Sure you can. Safely as we can. Coronavirus cases, the word the governor is using is surge. He expects that to hit in April. The surge here is probably going to start somewhere between the 7th and the 17th. With many more coronavirus cases expected in April, the governor has asked Washington for more ventilators for patients and PPE, personal protective equipment for doctors and nurses. He's expecting at least 1,000 ventilators to be shipped as early as this week. I think the quick turnaround we got on um, on our ventilator request, um, which was processed in maybe 48 hours or so, was a big step, a big positive step forward in the right direction. Baker says the feds already shipped masks, gowns, and gloves to Massachusetts over the weekend. In addition, the state has set up a portal where companies and individuals can sell or donate protective gear. We've made hundreds of deliveries to frontline health care providers and first responders. And last week, more than 28,000 masks and 120,000 pairs of gloves were distributed. 797 new cases of the virus were reported yesterday in Massachusetts, along with 56 total deaths. The governor says testing is ramping up, with at least 3,500 people tested a day. Ramped up testing combined with tracing and tracking and isolation and quarantine is going to be a key to how we move forward in the long run on managing this virus. Last week, the president signed a massive plan to help Americans through the crisis, the CARES Act. The law gives unemployment compensation to people who wouldn't normally qualify, the self-employed and those who do contract work. But Governor Baker warns states are waiting on guidance about how to distribute those funds. If you attempt to apply for them now, you won't be able to get through the system because the system won't actually have your name in it. And it may create a risk and a traffic jam for others who do qualify, who do participate in the existing unemployment insurance system. The governor says the state has $50 million on order in additional supplies, but he expects they'll need more than that to weather this surge. In Boston, John Coco, 7 News. Sure.